We will be installing Windows Server 2012 R2 for installing DSCB server. Uh, this is the OS part installation. Uh, it will take uh, about 5 minutes to complete. Uh, we are installing here uh, Windows Server 2012 R2 standard version, uh, GUI mode, uh, that's been graphical mode. Uh, it, this installation has taken uh, 5 minutes, but I have uh, skipped the uh, all process, uh, but only uh, 2 minutes will complete. After that, we will be uh, installing the role and other things. The installation part is complete here. Now uh, we are uh, installing role for the DCB server. Uh, the uh, from the manage uh, we are going to go to the uh, role and installation. Here is the DCB uh, server role and this next next and uh, install here. Uh, did uh, this role install uh, by uh, one minute or more than that? After finishing the role, uh, we will open the console and we will get the uh, DHCP access uh, console here. Uh, this is the small role. Uh, we will uh, use the DHCP for the releasing IP for the client. Uh, it is the, the service for Windows base. Uh, we can manage DHCP server for uh, by the uh, router or uh, layer 3 switch, but if DHCP server has a uh, more capability to manage uh, various things like managing IP or reserving IP. Uh, the, uh, for uh, finishing the uh, DHCP role, uh, though we have joined the server in the domain, so we have to uh, commit the DHCP role here. Now we can open uh, the DHCP console here, the stool and DHCP role here. But here there is a error showing uh, this this error but so for, for this reason we have to restart the server again and the error will recover it's showing the, the down, uh, down state but the survey we can uh, run the service restart or, or we can uh, restart uh, the server after when the, the server will back the, uh, the error will recover just we are installing uh, we are restarting the server now we are installing the another server for the DHCP because we will configure the failover mode. Uh, it's the same thing. We are installing Windows Server uh, 12 Part 2. Uh, after the installation, the OS uh, we will install the role again and uh, uh, we will configure the failover for DHCP server. Failover means uh, when the DHCP server once server one will. Uh, down or um, uh, unavailable state then server 2 will provide IP or um, uh, related service or if the server 2 is going down uh, then 1 will the provide that's mean the, there is no downtime for the DHCP server so that's why we will configure here the DHCP failover setup will uh, take uh, maybe uh, 5 minutes max but I will uh, do forward after that we will back again Yes, that's <coughs> OS is done. Now we are uh, uh, configuring just a um, uh, primary company, just uh, changing the name and uh, joining the domain and assign the uh, IP address as well. After that, we are installing uh, the same work for that just, uh, DHCP role for this server as well. Uh, the, we are installing the role.
uh, after uh, finishing the role installation we will configure the failover uh, we will configure uh, DHCP failover with, with the, uh, both server DHCP server 1 or 2 The role installation done and after com uh, complete the uh, installation uh, we have to just we have uh, commit the complication here. It may be show the uh, the the service is done just for this uh, problem we can just restart the server and we will run again uh, the problem will be solved. Just will allow for the restart only. All server is will restart and it will be solved. Just time we are restarting the server. We are restarting the server. Uh, yes. Yes, the server is uh, back and uh, let's check the service is okay here. Yes, the server is uh, okay and DSV service is running okay now now we will configure um, uh, the um, DSV failover here uh, for this failover connection we have to create a, uh, a scope first because uh, uh, after uh, minimum one uh, scope should be uh, created from for the one server then one or two anything just to, after that we will configure uh, the server uh, failover configuration then uh, after configuration uh, failover configuration the uh, all setting will be replicated with the another server this time creating a uh, the a pool for the uh, user ends like uh, sense department uh, here is the uh, name of the villain and here is the <coughs> starting IP and that's when who uh, from who is uh, uh, IP will be uh, who is first user I am here I'll provide uh, from the 21 that's when I will keep reserve 1 to 20 for uh, any other static purpose and the DCP pool will end 220 two, two then that's when 222 uh, two, 220 and the network uh, my is the 24 bit and i will allow uh, two weeks uh, lease for this regular the um, ip pool uh, here is the gateway that's been the route the routing gateway routing this let's see so is that's been the uh, routable device here and uh, here is this ip for the routing device that's been the gateway let's try and just uh, mm -hmm. here is the uh, DNS and everything just is done and uh, the IP pool is uh, creating ready uh, uh, here just uh, go to the uh, I have click on the IP4 IPv version 4 and click right click and configure failover and then next uh, it will show only single uh, IP pool and here we have to uh, find the uh, another uh, DCV server that's when uh, we have to find this uh, this browse and uh, here we have to mention the server uh, another server here and then uh, it will be uh, show here uh, here the DCV server 2 uh, we have find then ok
uh, it is take a few seconds for validating is a service that's been the uh, that's the uh, this process will check the if the uh, server uh, this server is installing the CV role is okay and also the IP here we will configure uh, we can configure the both way the load balance or the standby will uh, in my case we will configure uh, standby mode uh, load balance if you uh, compare load balance uh, it will uh, IP will parallelly uh, allocate by the both server uh, one from the DC one two for the uh, DCP two but uh, my in my case I will configure standby and we will uh, reserve for 10% 10% mean when the server one down uh, IP DC server two will can uh, provide a high 10 percent IP for the client and that's been done now we'll check the server to uh, uh, that's been uh, the IP pool for uh, we have created from the one uh, it will be replicated with server two it is server yes uh, the server two has already uh, replicated that's been the configuration is done thank you Thanks for watching. Thank you.